I'm Robert Palmer. I'm a geologist and I work out of Stancombe offices in Bristol. Well, in front of me here, I've just got a, there's an old drill bit here, similar to one of the drill bits we use when we're doing a site investigation. So we turn up at a, a new site, we haven't got much information about what's beneath our feet and we'll, we'll use a drill bit to, to drill down. Um, we can also produce cores using a different drill bit and we'll produce hundreds of metres of cores if necessary and then we'll use these cores to look at the type of rock that's there and we'll look at any faults within the rock and any problems with its quality and then from that we'll go on and design a quarry, come up with a reserve estimate. When I was at school I always wanted to be a vet and that was the that was the thing for me. I think I was watching Rolf Harris and people like that on Animal Hospital. And that was that was the kind of thing I wanted to do. I was reading the James Herriot books on farm vets and things like that, and that, that really interested me. But uh, after talking with a few people at the Sixth Form Open Day, I realised that the subjects I was doing weren't really quite what I wanted. And I was only doing the subjects as a means to an end. And I thought, well, actually, you know, let's do something I enjoy. So I chose um, some A-levels which I enjoy, such as English language, uh, I did business studies, geography, and I did an AS, so a half A level in geology. And it just so happened that geology really took my fancy and I upped that to an A level, and it, things developed from there. And I chose geology really because I had this genuine interest and passion for it, which stemmed from, I think I, I, my dad does building work, and landscaping and gardening and things like that. And I used to visit a lot of quarries and sand and gravel pits to collect materials. And I was always interested to know, you know, where did this material actually come from? You know, how did it come from the out of the ground? You know, we just saw the the, the sale side of it, but I was always intrigued as to how they manage the quarry and things like that. And I also had an interest in, like most young kids do, dinosaurs. You know, always picking up bits of rock. So it was more of a it was a combination of the two, really, a passion for the subject, but also an interest in how we could actually benefit from it. In the journey to becoming a geologist, I think the main obstacles I've really hit were how I could make a job for my degree. So I, I realised I really enjoyed the subject. But then to find a job that was actually specific to it was, was another thing. Um, fortunately, after I left uni, I had a studentship from the Environmental Council to go and do a, a master's degree in mining, which really, until that point, left me in a, in a bit of a limbo. I wasn't sure where, the, where I was going to go with geology. But after doing a, a mining course, it really did make me realise that that was the thing for me, mining, quarrying, very similar kind of business. So really that would probably be the main obstacle I faced was just really leaving uni, what do you do now? It kind of creeps up on you before you know it. So. I'm motivated by enjoyment for the job. Um, and the satisfaction, like most people, you know, it's good to know that when you're doing something, you're doing it well, doing it to the best of your ability, and that, that's quite satisfying. But also in what I find in this industry is the people you work with are very genuine, down-to-earth people, and there's no... Um, there's no airs and graces really and I get to deal with a lot of people from directors down to you know guys working on the quarry, landowners, all a whole range of people which is that's very satisfying in itself.